Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top three system cleaners for Linux. So essentially what a system cleaner does is take all the unnecessary junk files, cache, cookies, and more and remove them from your system. So it really does make your system faster and take up less disk space. But you do have to be cautious when using these cleaners because they can accidentally delete some important files. So just use them with caution. Okay, so starting off the list, the first application is Bleachbit. Now Bleachbit is a fairly well-known system cleaner as it is also available on Windows and Mac OS. So to install it, open up a web browser and here you want to go to bleachbit.org. Click on the download button. It should be the second item in the menu. Scroll down to the installation package section and click on Linux. And now here you want to select the installation file for your um, distribution. So I'm running Ubuntu. And the file should start downloading automatically. So you want to open the file. Next, you want to click install over here. And once it is installed, go over here, look up Bleachbit. And as you can see, two Bleachbit applications were installed. The first one is normal Bleachbit, and the second one is Bleachbit as administrator or root. And the second option will give you more access to files and will in turn clean more disk space. So I'm going to run it as root, and of course you'd have to enter your password. So upon first boot, you'll be greeted with a preferences dialog, and here you can check whichever preferences you want. So you can check things such as check for new releases, start ble bleach bit with root, and start bleach bit on boot. So you can do that kind of stuff, and then when you're done, close out of it. And now here is the main menu. So on the side, you have all your different categories. For my installation, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different categories. So apt is the package manager. So I like to select all of these. Bash is your command history. You can check that if you want. Deep scan will scan all your files in your disk. I select these three and as you can see on some of them it is giving me a warning saying that it might take a little bit more time that's fine the next section is your web browser since I have Firefox installed it will show me all the options with Firefox and of course here you can select which ones you want next is LibreOffice if you have that installed Next is system, and then here you have things such as temporary files, trash, memory, and free disk space. So you can just check all of those. And then next is thumbnails, which are generated in your system. And the final one is the window manager. So after you have selected the ones that you want to remove, you have to just click this clean files icon here, the trash can button, and click delete. And up here you can see the status of what's being cleaned and exactly what is being deleted down here. So right now it is cleaning apt. When Bleachbit is finished removing files off your system, it will say done here at the top. And on the side here, you can see exactly how much was deleted in each category. So I have about 400 megabytes in apt, 134 in system, and a few more kilobytes in these other ones. So that's kind of nice. It shows you exactly how much was deleted. 
Okay, so the second application on this list is Stacer. Now, Stacer is a very new program. It's only been around for about a few months, but it still works really well. So to install it, go to the Stacer GitHub page. It is titled Ubuntu System Optimizer. And scroll down, and there are two methods to install it. The first one is by downloading and running the deb file, and the other is through git. So I'm going to use the first method. So click on the link to the Stacer releases page, and then download the appropriate file, either 32-bit or 64-bit. Once that's downloaded, you can run it and install it through your system, uh, software center, but I'm going to use the terminal to install it. So go into your downloads folder, or wherever it's installed, and run sudo dp, dpkg-i, and then the name of the file, enter your password, and it should start installing. Okay, so once it's done installed, you can launch Dacer. It should just launch like that. And now here, upon the first boot, we will see the dashboard. So here it shows you your CPU usage, memory, and disk. So that's kind of like a graphical representation of the task manager. Right here. And you also have the system cleaner on the second menu. And here we can select all these items. So first you want to run the system scan. And then now here you can select exactly what you want to clean. So it might look a little intimidating at first, but you just want to select, you can select all the big categories on the side, and if you want anything specific, just select it here. And when you are ready, you can hit clean, enter your root password, and it should say system cleaned. The next menu item is startup apps, and here you can select which ones are running on boot. This is Compton, my window manager, or sorry, window compositor, and you can deselect and select whichever ones you want. The next item is services, and here are the ones that are running, or the ones that you want to run, and you can here, again, you can de deselect and select them. The last item is the uninstaller. So basically, you can uninstall all these things through apt, or whatever your package manager is, but this is, again, a graphical representation of that. So yeah, it's a very clean, polished, and good-looking application, and it's very good considering that it just launched very recently. So the third and final application on this list is called GCleaner. So GCleaner is supposed to be a alternative to CC Cleaner, which is a popular system cleaner on Windows. So to install it, go to the Launchpad page of GC Cleaner, sorry, G Cleaner, <laughs> and there's no way to install it easily yet, but what you can do is install it using sort, so click on browse code near at the bottom, click on install, and now here you have the dependencies that need to be installed first, so open up the terminal, enter your root password, and it should install all of them. Okay, so once you have installed all the dependencies, you want to run these uh, commands here. So, bzr branch lp colon gcleaner. And if you don't have it, run sudo apt install bzr. I want to run that again. Okay. Now you want to change directories to gcleaner. Now we'll run make directory build cd build cmake and then this right here. So just you can just copy that. Then make 
and finally sudo make install. Okay, and it should be done. So now let's try to launch it. So okay, here we have it in our application menu. And here is the application itself. So currently it is written in a different language. Can't really tell, but it's still pretty easy to use. So you have your applications here. And then your other applications. So you can wipe the terminal and the kernel files. And just select which ones you want. Click this button right here, and click this button on the side. Enter your password. And now it is done. So that's done, and you can exit out of that, and your system should be cleaner. So that last one was a little bit harder to use, and it wasn't exactly in the language, but it is still very functional and does the task really well. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you install and run some of these system cleaners to make your computer faster. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next video.